Before bending my edges, I make sure the center points at my nose and tail are clearly marked. I use these points to help me keep track of where I will need to cut my edge after I bend them. I like to cut my edges after I bend them because I can use the ends to provide a little leverage even though eventually they're going to be cut off. To bend my edges I use a modified tubing bender that you can find in almost any hardware store. I modified this tool by cutting a little trench into it using a rotary tool like a Dremel. More detail about this tool modification can be found at BoardCrafter.com. To shape the edge, I slowly feed it through the tubing bender, tooth by tooth, and I press down on the lever to give the edge its curve. As I bend the edges, I regularly compare it to my template shape and uh, I'll find sometimes I need to get a little more aggressive with the curve and sometimes I need to uh, slacken it up a bit but eventually I get to a point where I'm happy with it and I can then clamp it to my template and use a rotary dremel tool to cut off the excess length that I had left on previously for leverage. Time spent accurately shaping your edges really pays off. If your edges aren't bent properly, you'll find that they're pretty uncooperative when you're trying to glue them to the base, and oftentimes they'll pop off the base. So uh, the less that you need to wrestle with your edge when it comes time to attaching it to the base, the better. I don't like red hot metal slivers, and I have no idea why I'm wearing short sleeves here. So when you cut your edges, be sure you're wearing long sleeves just to be safe. After cutting edges, my next step is to clean them. A lot of times edges have grease and other impurities that can cause delaminations. So I want to be sure to get uh, all the grease and any other impurities off of the edges. And to do this, I use a metal brush and denatured alcohol. After thoroughly scrubbing my edges with the alcohol, I wipe them dry with a clean, low lint rag. And from now on, I'll avoid touching the edges with my bare hands. I'll always want to be wearing clean gloves so grease from my fingers does not stick to the edge and result in poor adhesion during uh, sticking them to the base or during the layup process. With my edges dry, I now want to rough them up. To do this, I use a brass wire wheel drill bit. This is the do-it-yourself snowboard builders version of sandblasting and the idea is to rough up the edge so that you have optimal adhesion with the epoxy resin during the layup process. I do this the full length of the edge and I do both sides of each edge. With the edges cleaned and treated I can now stick them to my base material. I clamp the base material to the base routing template and use a very lightly damp cloth to wipe it clean. I then put my gloves on because I'm going to be working with my edges and I clamp these to the base material the way they're supposed to fit on the board. The most challenging sections will be the tip and tail, so I do those first by clamping them in place exactly as they're supposed to be with no space between the edge um, and the P-Tex material. I leave a lot of slack along the uh, effective edge of the snowboard because there's not as much curve there and it's a lot easier to deal with when you get to that point. So you'll notice on the right side of the board there it's actually dangling off the base material completely uh, but that's okay because what I'm most concerned with at this point is making sure that the edge is uh, stuck in exactly the right place along the tip and I do the same for the tail. To stick the edges to the base material, all you need is super glue, and what you do is you put a small bead of super glue in between each tooth at the nose and tail, and uh, basically you have a capillary effect where the super glue is sucked in under each of these teeth, 
and they stick into place. Um, it's important on the tip and tail since there's a lot of curve there. You probably want a bead of super glue in between each tooth along the edge. However, once you go along the effective edge, uh, along the side cut of your snowboard, there there's not as much curve so you don't need to use as much super glue and you can space it out between four and six teeth to have them all in place. And once you're done, you uh, unclamp the board from your template and you can flip it over to take a look at your handiwork and inspect to make sure that the edge is uh, right along your base material exactly as it's supposed to be.